never mind. So、oh, I. What's up? What it do? We back, but you already knew what's goody. SJ Crew is time for round two, but you already knew. So now that I'm through, let's hop into this freaking video. And what I mean by this freaking video, I mean your boy the Odd Ones Out has posted something, so I have no choice. So let's get into it right now. Run, mommy. Why do humans hate us? Whoa. I don't know, Matthew. Our species is completely harmless to them,、mm -hmm. and we keep the mosquito population down. Oh, Spider-Man! We're responsible、poster. for killing more humans every year than、it. other humans do.、Ooh. So humans have no rational reason to fear us, but they still do. I'm afraid humans aren't that smart, Matthew. Sleep、oh, wow. tight. Don't let the bed. I mean, it's true. It's love you, true. mommy. I love you, Matthew. Mom. I think the hate that spiders get is a tad bit undeserved. Okay, fine. If you're in the shower and you see a spider crawling up your leg like a freaking pervert, then that's an appropriate time to freak out. But other than that, <laughs> spiders are most likely not going to hurt you. Their webs are too weak to trap you. They don't know how to open doors, and there's only like a 50% chance that they're venomous. Okay, but for real, unless you live in Australia, the、no. chances of you dying by a spider bite is pretty low.、No. There are venomous spiders, yes, and if you're having a negative reaction to a spider bite, then you should. Get treatment, but a large percentage of spiders are harmless. Even the black widow, known as the most venomous spider in North America, won't kill you if you're a healthy adult. Their bite will be painful for a couple of days, sure, but、mm -hmm. like, you'll walk it off.、Right. That was that was a joke. If you get bitten by a black widow spider, then don't walk it off. Go see a doctor.、Oh. And hey, if you're lucky enough, you'll get superpowers. So wait, the two most dangerous spiders in North America are the brown recluse and the black widow. What are you trying to say about dangerous colors, America? Oh wait, the great white shark's even more dangerous. Never mind.、Okay. Technically,、right. sharks are like、right. the second least dangerous animal out there、Lies. besides puppies, because like they don't want to eat humans. I, I mean, like if you had to fight a spider <laughs> and a shark, this this shark would win. Also,、right. spiders kill pests. According to this comic I made in 2014 and this National Geographic article, a single、Ooh. spider can eat about 2,000 insects a year. So if you're、Ooh. not a fan of flies, moths, or mosquitoes, which incidentally kill 600,000 people a year, then you're on Team Spider because they're also not fans of them. Well, they are fans of them, but they. They are fans because they eat them.、Right. I'm not saying you have to be roommates with arachnids. I'm just saying that if you see a spider, don't put it through torture, continuously smashing it with a blunt object. <laughs>、uh, it's still moving. It's still moving.、True. Kill me. Instead, get a cup and carefully place it over a spider. They're really dumb, so doing this will be super easy. Then scoop up your new best friend with a piece of paper and yeet it back into the wild with the rest of God's glorious creatures. True. Yo. Yeah, actually, there's a high chance that they won't make it being thrown into a completely different environment. But they should have thought of that before they decided to live in my house. Even though a spider、wow. has eight eyes, they have terrible eyesight. So that spider that landed on your face did not do it intentionally. Some spiders that live in caves are completely blind. They don't even have one eyes.、Oh, But even if they did have eyes, their whole world would still be pitch black. What a sad life to be a part of. Just、True. every time you're outside seeing the sun, just think that somewhere there's a, a colony、somewhere. of spiders just in pure blackness. Just never seeing the sun, never seeing their children smile or graduate college. They're just、oh. sitting in a cave for all their life. Oh man! So is nature, and that is the way the cookie crumbles. Also, okay, we're forgetting okay, the most amazing thing about spiders, which is that they're incredibly talented in web design.、Uh, <laughs> ha ha ha! ha. <laughs> Fortunately, the silk that makes up a spider web is stronger than the fibers that make up a bulletproof vest. So next time you go to a gunfight, put on a spider web instead. The amazing thing about spider webs is that not only can they save Wilbur from being slaughtered, but it's just stupid incredible that something so small can make such an intricate shape from nothing but the material inside their own bodies. The golden silk orb weaver spider has too many middle names and has enough silk inside of them to make three full spider webs. And it's this guy's job to pin that spider down and pull out all of its silk like some kind of spider predator. It's okay though. The documentary said he was just harmlessly immobilizing the spiders. I can't believe this is someone's job.、Right. I don't think. Telling people I'm a YouTuber is that bad anymore? So,、uh, what do you do for a living? I harmlessly immobilize spiders with thumbtacks and pull silk out of their abdomen to add to my ever-increasing collection. 
What about you? Oh, I, uh, make YouTube videos? I see people right. with arachnophobia being irrationally afraid of these harmless little guys, and I just don't see the sense of fearing something that ultimately does good things for the ecosystem. But you know what we should be afraid of? Bees! Oh, Bees are oh. terrifying! Oh, Look, the they're sucking the blood out of this guy to make honey! <laughs> oh, they're dying at an alarming rate? Good! Okay, that was a joke. Bees are, without a doubt, the most important insect on this planet. Not only do they have the best work ethic of any living thing on Earth, but they got the best job. Of them are YouTubers, they also oh, wow. pollinate 30% of the world's crops. Right. Don't ask me who pollinates the rest, because I don't know. Without bees, humanity would turn to pure anarchy. Bees are so important that world-famous comedian Jerry Seinfeld made a documentary about Called the life the bee of a bee yes. and what the world would be like without them. Uh, but ever the since 2006, awesome. bees, just like all the memes say, have been dying at an alarming rate. The scary thing is that scientists don't know exactly the reason for this bee apocalypse, But they think it has to do with new pesticides being used on farms, parasites that kill the bee, and global warming. So once we figure out how to fix those three problems, we'll be in good shape. Oh my god, these so freaking puns, James! Have fun around here. Now what can you, a concerned citizen, do to stop the dropping population of bees? Most likely nothing, because I don't think anyone watching this makes laws about pesticides or stopping global warming. Mm. So we just gotta sit back and hope the people who make those laws know the importance of bees. But maybe you should plant a couple flowers just to be on the safe side. The reason I have a fear of bees is that I've gotten stung by a bee not three times, not four times, but two times. What? Two, two wait, times. Wait, wait, wait. Now, obviously, as I've grown, I see the importance of bees, and I know not to throw rocks at no, them. Okay. The what? first time I got you stung, I was them? outside, and I guess I was playing too close to a beehive, because I got stung on my arm, and I cried a lot. The second time, I was in my backyard, barefoot, and I was walking around, and... You know how sometimes when you're about to do something and your brain no, realizes that you're no, about to make no. a mistake, but your body is already no, no, committed no, no, to the no, motion no, no, no. and you don't have enough time to stop yourself? So I was in the middle of taking a step and I saw that I was about to step on a bee, but my body didn't have the reaction time or the motor skills to avoid the step and... <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm sure the bee was just acting in self-defense, but... Man, that scarred me. Some people may have an allergic reaction to bee stings, and they should go to a hospital if they get stung. But in my case, it just hurt a lot. And my mom put baking soda over where I got stung, and I cried. When people found out I was afraid of bees, they would always tell me that bees are docile creatures, and they only sting you if they feel threatened. Right. They would say the same thing about spiders, too, by the way. So whenever I would see a bee, I would silently freak out and stay as still as a rock, because unlike spiders, with bees, you're not allowed to fight back. You'll both lose if that happens. I gotta show this bee how unthreatening I am. It should be able to just take a look at me and, wow. and know that. But then, when uh -huh. a bee lands on your arm... Holy frick. That's true fear. You just have to quietly watch the bee, hoping it didn't just have a bad day and decide to end its life on you. That never happened, though. Ever since I took a more calm approach to bees, I've never been stung. And I've never been bitten by a spider, either. Wasps, though, they're just mean. They, they can pack up and leave for all I care. I don't, I don't give a crap about wasps. So, what did we learn? Don't throw a rocket wasp nest. That's what you learned. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching this yeah. video about the spiders and the bees. I know it's kind of a weird topic, but... <laughs> Yo, that was... That was funny, though. I won't cap. It was really good. It was really funny. And nothing less from the odd ones out. I mean, come on. Like, let's be honest here. We expect this from him. But, um... The puns, man. The puns. Oh, my God. The puns. The corny puns. Oh, jeez. Ugh, just terrible. But... I mean, you gotta love them, bro. You gotta love them. But um, that's all I got for you guys today. This has been your boy Samaj TV. You will be seeing a lot more of me soon. So without further ado, peace out, SJ Crew. Chance to take a bullet and die, spread my wings and fly, just to get shot out of the sky. Love was my friend, and now with history, I never understand. Man, always was a mystery. Now love has disappeared, and I don't get no sympathy. I guess that's part of being a man.